pleased to be here, and I'm pleased to have the privilege to say I'm proud to be an American. And I'm glad I remember a little bit about my history, even though we have a president that can't quite get it right. The president can't remember that we were he said, but if he asked William Bradford on the Mayflower, he'd say, I disagree. Yeah. Yeah. John Adams, the second president of the United States, was not just as a British nation. John Adams wouldn't have a problem with it. He said, our Constitution was only for a godly people. I think he would be. Yeah. At least I think Benjamin Rush would be very upset the first one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence and also the father of public schools said if you ever take God out of our schools, you would destroy America. Yeah. Yeah. And I serve at home here, and I'm ashamed to say to God, we're most certainly pleased that you're the great God that's given us such a wonderful nation. So often as we pray, or after we pray, we say, put your hands together and give God a praise. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, we do honor and magnify thy holy name. We honor and praise you who have blessed us beyond measure. We thank you for this great land and country, its people and the unparalleled power you have so graciously bestowed upon us. Thank you for our fields of grain, our rivers and streams, our well-stocked stores, and all the blessings that are too numerous to name. Dear Heavenly Father, you have commanded us to pray for our leaders, so in obedience to your command. We pray for our president. We pray that when he looks in the mirror, he will not see a king, but a steward, who will uphold the great constitution of this nation. Let him be guided by the great principles of that document, and not by the ideas of the ACLU, NARAL, and the NEF. We pray for our Senate and House of Representatives. Let them be reminded of the words of Abraham Lincoln. When they go to Washington, that says our government is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. When our elected representatives learn the value of self-denial, realizing that it is one of the highest callings and brings great gratification. And let them beware of little expenses, let alone the big expenses. And we pray for the Supreme Court, that they will not take the word supreme so seriously. <laughs> that they will remember that they are servants of the people who interpret the law, and interpret according to the authors of our Constitution. And last, but by no means last, we oh God, that we as your people will hear the cry that Abraham Lincoln did. George Washington gave, and many before us, that in times of national crisis, they have called on you and asked you, Father, to forgive us for our sins, free us from our wrongdoing, then let us be as Jeremiah, as Lord, proprietors of the truth. No longer shall we be quiet, but as Jeremiah, like fire shut up in our bones, we will cry out, stand up, lift up our voice. This just comes again. This is our prayer in Jesus' name.